Good morning Blackwood. I'm Mark Thomas, the minister of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Blackwood. Thanks for joining me as I remember the folk of Blackwood in my prayers at this challenging time. These are only short little videos, nothing long or complicated, just a simple opportunity to pray for the place we know and love, for the place where we find ourselves, for the place where God has put us, and for the town where we live or work, have family or friends. I'm anticipating that for most of you that will be Blackwood, uh, but if you're in Pont Lanfrith or Oakdale, Wiley or Innisthee, perhaps Pengam, Bargoid, Britannia, or even Pandy, as I know some of you are, you're still very welcome to make these prayers your own for your place. And you're welcome to join with me no matter whether you have lots of faith, little faith, or no faith at all. Now we light a candle as Christians to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. Christians have done this through the centuries. Jesus brings light in the midst of dark times. We also this morning read from Psalm 5. Uh, if these words are unfamiliar to you, feel free to go and grab a Bible uh, and read them over again for yourself. Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my God and my King. For to you I pray. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. <clears throat> today it seems right to focus our thoughts and prayers uh, around the fact that our schools close today, if they haven't done so already, uh, for an unknown length of time. Now this development is for all our goods, but inevitably creates uncertainty and is unnerving for many. So this morning we pray for our schools and colleges. Our local schools include the comprehensive schools of Blackwood Comp, Islin High, Lewis Boys and Lewis Girls. The primary and junior schools, we have a good number of them. Argoid, Bryn, Kevin Forest, Fleur de Lis, Glenninant, Lewis, Libanus, Markham, Oakdale, Pengam, Pentlwyn, Pontlanfrith, Rusa David, Isgol, Giffin, Cumrumney, Isgol, Cumraig, Trellin, and last but not least, Blackwood Primary, where I'm a governor. And so we pray this morning. Let's pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for our local schools and the excellent work that they do in educating and developing our young people. We thank you for the dedicated staff and volunteers that demonstrate a heart and a willingness to see children and young people mature and flourish in our community. These challenging times are putting a strain on these facilities that we value so much. We pray this morning for the teachers and support staff, that they would know your equipping for their ongoing role, whether that is still face to face in the classroom for those who are still attending, or for those who are now adjusting to new patterns of work from a distance. Lord, keep their motivation high, their spirits willing, and their support enthusiastic. Protect them, we pray. We pray for parents, grandparents and relatives, working out the logistics of how best to care and provide for their loved ones. Lord, give them loving hearts, creative minds, patient spirits and practical wisdom as they work out both the immediate and longer term implications of this current situation. Protect them, we pray. We pray for the children and young people some at the early stages of their education, with the energy and enthusiasm of developing minds. Others towards the end of their school life, including those experiencing the sense of bereavement at the unexpected premature ending of their school days. For these, we pray, grant them your peace amidst confusion, your love amidst disappointment. Protect them, we pray. Finally, and especially, we pray for those children and young people who are vulnerable under normal circumstances, but perhaps particularly at this time. Keep them safe from those who would not have their best interests at heart or would seek to do them harm. 
May the resources be found for them so that their needs are met. Protect them, we pray. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine, hear our prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me in praying for our community. We'll do so again tomorrow especially for our retail sector and business. But in the meantime, God bless you.